In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use URL Profiler to quickly and accurately classify links, allowing you to build a link removal list or disavow a file. We'll start by opening the software. Now, when you're conducting a link audit with URL Profiler, you need to tell the tool which domain you wish to analyze. For this example, we'll look at a site called bannerbuzz.com. And you put this down in the domain to checkbox down here. If we take a look at SEMrush, you can see that they've taken a few hits over the years, so a link audit will help clarify if Penguin might have caused this. So the next step is to import some URLs into our URL list on the right. So we'll go import from file and then choose the link. So this is just a link export taken from uh, Majestic. And then we open up the file and we can see that it's 4,967 links back to the Banabas domain. So now we've imported the links, we want to check, and we've told the software which domain to check against. Once we set the tool running, URL Profiler will crawl through each of these pages and pull back data about all the backlinks it finds. It will also attempt to classify these links using a combination of factors, including anchor text. It is vitally important you spend some time setting these up properly, as it will make the results much more accurate. Now there are three tabs of anchor variations, branded, commercial and generic. The first is branded anchors, which is pretty self-explanatory. You just enter any variations of your brand or site name. The second is tab is the commercial anchors, and it is really important you fill this one out as thoroughly as possible. In this case, I've added phrase match variations of keywords that Bannerbuzz would want to rank for. Note that the phrase, ma phrase matching means you don't need to add every variation. Banner would work for cheap banner or banner sale, for example. The generic tab is much less important, but uh, just add in some generic variations like I have done here. Once this is all filled out, uh, you hit apply. So now we're ready to run the profiler. There are a number of other settings you can have a play with, but in most cases, this setup is fine. So we'll run the profiler and then we'll leave it to finish and come back. OK, so the tool has finished running now uh, and you can see it took less than 15 minutes to complete. So we can open up the export file straight into Excel. Um, and if you have a, if you've run a few other reports in URL Profiler, you'll notice that this export is a little different uh, in that it starts with this summary sheet, and then there are several other worksheets which uh, kind of split out the data a bit more thoroughly. So this summary sheet uh, acts as a bird's eye view of the data and should give you a rough idea of the amount of work it might take to fully classify the links. So you can see over here how many domains. Um, have have had links found on them um, and how many of those links are live or dead uh, there's an indexation option if you want to check indexation we haven't chosen to do that so but that would tell you there and then it breaks down over here the kind of link scores so for instance in this example we've got 1362 that we've already classified as unnatural but there's still 2609 that we suggest you go out and go ahead and review um, a few few more data pieces over here, uh, but the main the main bits of information are in these few first columns over there. So I'll go through and have a look at the different sheets as well. So all is literally all the data, so you can see just how much you're going to get back from URL profiler, even with this, the basic settings which we applied today. So there is a hell of a lot of stuff in there. So that's the all tab. So I'll go through run through the other ones because the all is actually not all that useful. Um, none is all instances where we couldn't access the, the page itself so you'll find 302s and 400s and everything in this list you'll also see that there are some uh, 200s and that's when we couldn't actually check the use of URL so in this case the URL is not HTML and you're also having instances where no link was found. So these are a little bit more important when no link was found, because that generally means that it's uh, the link's either been removed or there's some sort of link rot. 
um, not processed tab is basically there. Are, there is a setting uh, which we we haven't switched on on this occasion, which will allow you to limit the amount of uh, URLs you're processed for any given domain. So you can say only look at the the first ten links on this domain rather than looking through you know ten thousand site wide links is not all that useful. Um, we haven't switched that on, so there's nothing in here at the moment. Um, the ignore tab will show you anything which uh, you you basically you don't need to worry about. So the link score in these in these cases is uh, almost always it's no follow links. So you can see why these have been tagged as as ignore. Uh, the review section is uh, one of the most important, and these were all the ones which we couldn't find any obvious or clear pattern uh, in the data. So we're saying there's no unnatural links six signals were found but that doesn't necessarily mean that the links were natural so we suggest you go and review them yourself we still give you all the other information such as the anchor text and the target URL so you can see here that perhaps window clings might have been something which we could have uh, put down as a commercial anchor if it if these this is indeed a uh, manipulative linking going on so as I mentioned earlier if you're more thorough with your commercial anchor text then you will get better results so it might in this case be worth rerunning it with window clings as one of the commercial anchors so if we move on to uh, low now these are basically going on sites um, which are low trust um, so you can see uh, in the link status and the link score we, we've tagged that as low and the, the, the reason which is should hopefully help you uh, figure out what's going on if you if you look at the reason you can see lots of these are in advertisements or on forum links so there it's not again it's not necessarily going to be unnatural but um, it's probably on a site which isn't that trustworthy and optimize again it's not it's not clearly unnatural but it is using commercial anchor text so uh, we, we tag that as optimized and in my experience a lot of a lot of the cases you'll go through this and you'll ver very clearly figure out if these things are um, manipulative links or if they're not and, and you can end up going through sorting and filtering in Excel and you know classifying um, you know a, a fair amount at any one single time and you can again you can you know filter by specific pages if there's certain pages which look like they've probably been targets in a link campaign um, so you, you might notice that the um, the links they kind of get gradually worse as you go through the tabs so these ones are suspect um, you know often these these ones are um, very likely end up as unnatural links but we're not 100% sure that they are so we don't say we don't call them unnatural because we want to put the onus on the SEO the user to go through and check this for themselves so we still would advise that you go and check uh, at least some of these sites until you can notice a pattern and then um, you can probably go ahead and, and, and classify most of these as unnatural so you can see bios with commercial anchor text uh, profile links um, forum links with the anchor text in the profile a lot of these you know if you went to go and look at the site you'll you'll soon figure out that these are going to be unnatural links as well and then the final tab is uh, unna the unnatural links themselves and this is this is the worst uh, the worst stuff we all will have found so external link count greater than 500 you know if there's that many links on a page it's almost always uh, a page that you do not want to have a link on um, again you know web you know SEO link directories you don't want links on pages like that um, especially when you've got anchor text coming through like this and you'll see that all of this is just all the worst stuff what else have we got uh, there's a forum link with commercial anchor text in it so again you're not going to want any of these links so we, we tend to say that y you're pretty safe without actually going and double checking all the ones which we tag as unnatural because they're just they're just fitting a, a footprint almost every single time so it's worth going through and checking but there's nothing in there that you're 
um, unhappy about and going through and checking the links themselves, making sure they're not on a domain that you know you, you actually like the look of. Um, but in most cases, it's going to be sites which you're, you're not happy to have links on. So you can round that off with the, with the summary page again. You can see from here, as, as I mentioned earlier, with the unnatural links, you can you can get a good idea of how many links have been classified for you. And with all the other ones, you get an idea of the ones that you're probably going to go and have to check yourself and make a decision. Are these unnatural or, or are these safe? Can we leave them alone? So that is um, doing a link audit with the Overall Profiler.